Can you start with uh, what's going on in the story here in Deus Ex? What's going on? Okay. Um, well, uh, it takes place roughly two years after Human Revolution. And the world has gone completely insane, crazy, over the Og incidents. Basically, the end of spoilers. Uh, the end of Human Revolution, there's a big Og incident where people go crazy, and because they augmented, they start killing people, killing themselves, and it's really. Uh, it's like a, it's really bad. Uh, so two years later, everybody is scared of augmentations. This is where we uh, we enter sort of the mechanical apartheid part of the story. It's very uh, a big segregation of who is augmented and who isn't. Uh, so uh, legislations and votes are going on to uh, force people to have a license, uh, a different passport, and be clearly identified as augmented because they are dangerous. Uh, Adam Jensen is still there, of course, uh, but he's moved on from security and now he's joined a uh, special task force that is uh, working pretty much internationally to uh, fight uh, terrorism and uh, well, all the contrabands and all the stuff that's going on under the radar about uh, guns and augmentations, all these things. And he's, of course, trying to find answers because of all the uh, events that took place during human revolution, mankind divided is all this moment where there's clearly someone in control and they want to achieve something and Jensen won't take part of it, he wants to stop it. This is basically what's in a nutshell, that's what's happening. Awesome, and can you go into a little detail about the augmentations that players can get their hands on? Uh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about the new ones, uh, some of the new ones, I don't want to spoil everything. Uh, one of the feature ones that we show in uh, actually the big trailer that was very popular on the internet is the Titan. Uh, Titan basically calls Jensen into this sort of black well, it's sort of a black goo that becomes really hard. We call it a Titan, and it basically is a big shield and blocks all the incoming fire, explosions, and stuff like that. So that's one of them. Uh, we have the cloak, uh, which makes, of course, a comeback. Uh, we've upgraded some of the augmentations because the fans wanted to have more uh, like chances to use them, like the Typhoon, for example, which is like this big explosion around Jensen. Uh, it used to be only lethal, and now we, uh, we're introducing a non-lethal version, so the player can choose. There's like drawbacks, whichever you choose, of course, uh, but it can be very popular, very useful, uh, especially combined uh, with other augmentations, and that's something else that we're pushing forward. It's less about using this one augmentation over and over and over. What we want the players to do is to mix and match different ones and try things. Uh, my personal favorite is the, using the Acres Dash, which is a new augmentation that basically propels Jensen forward. We've seen it in the trailer. Uh, he goes from a balcony and strikes down people. So we can use that uh, combined with a, a, a ledge or something really high up. You can just strike down at Acres Strike, which makes a comeback from human, uh, human Revolution. And then you finish it off with a Typhoon. Lethal or non lethal is your choice. And then you can wipe out a whole lot of people yeah, that's yeah, that's my favorite as well. And uh, these are things that are. Uh, there's more to that. Uh, we also introduced the gun arms, which uh, is actually brand new to mankind divided. Basically, uh, Jensen is very uh, known for his nano blade. Basically, a big blade that comes out of his arm, and now we can shoot it. So, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. But basically, we want it to be like a quick between weapon and augmentation thing. So you're shooting, you're running out of ammo. Don't bother reloading. Just shoot somebody else, then reload. And then you can swatch, uh, swap to another gun arm, for example. Uh, we have the Tesla as well, where you can stun people. You can target multiple uh, enemies at, a, at one time and then shoot everybody at the same time. And I keep going and on, I have to stop because it's really exciting. I can't just let everything out. But yeah, these are a few new augmentations. Very impressive. Now, with the Deus Ex games, there's a balance between uh, combat and stealth. How are you folks uh, balancing that with uh, Mankind Divided? Hmm, how we're balancing that? Well, in a video we've showed, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to show it later, um, but what we're trying to do is, first of all, is up the ante for the combat. Uh, people have been asking for a little bit more uh, uh, ease into the combat style of gameplay. Like, uh, it was really hard in Human Revolution to just like go into combat and kill everyone, if you so desired. So now we're making it more uh, an intricate part of the gameplay. But we've also tried to find a... Um, a just moment where you can go into combat and then when it gets a little tough or you, you're not sure you want to continue this way there's always a, a trick or two you can use to just sort of pull back and then enter stealth and then the guys will be looking for you of course but you have your, your augmentations like the cloak and everything you can throw objects to like 
have people go the other way and stuff like that. And you can just sort of sneak by even though, you know, they're still looking for you and then you can go back into combat. And we're trying to mix and match that a little bit more. And especially we're using uh, all the augmentations in your arsenal and some of the new weapons and stuff. If you have a silencer and all these things. Awesome. And finally, when can players get their hands on Mankind Divided? February 23rd, uh, 16th.